Hey everyone, happy post Super Bowl Monday. One of my least favorite Mondays of the year. I normally love them, but on a Super Bowl Monday, it's pretty tough to recover. Did you watch the game? It was crazy. But today I wanna to talk about what you can do with some leftovers. Now last week I showed you how to make a skinny or healthy version of the spinach artichoke dip with some sauteed greens. And then to put it all together, you just dump and go. And so yesterday's was a little bit different tasting because it's you know different every time. I'm a little bit of grandma in me. Um, I'm Renee and I'm into health and fitness and sharing some fun hacks and tips with you. I don't like to waste food and I like to repurpose them in a healthy, different sort of manner. And so today that's what we're going to do. I have the leftover spinach artichoke dip and I'm going to reuse it two ways. Now there's nothing that would really spoil in this dip that would cause me to go, oh that's unsafe, I'm not going to use it. It's um, yogurt, cheeses, and spinach. So I think I'm okay. The first thing that I'm going to do is a pizza. I love pizza, who doesn't? But you can have fun pizza and you can eat it and you can make it healthy and cheap. So I have my cold water crust pizza dough that I pulled out of the fridge, it defrosted for about an hour or so. And then I spread just a thin layer of the spinach artichoke dip on the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is top it with some healthy, fun toppings. So it's kind of like one of those pizzas that you can get at the takeout places, but since I don't live a place that's like, I don't live near one of those places, I'm doing it myself. So on this, I'm going to add some protein and I have some chicken and I'll just, you know, try to get as much of it on there as I can. This is actually a really small pizza, so, you know, you could eyeball it. Then I have some veggies. I have diced up red onions and some mushrooms because that's the whole point of making this healthy is that you're going to put some um, vegetables on it, yes? And then some tomatoes. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes in the fridge and that would really make it Greek and fun. But those are kind of a pain to like, up and they're greasy. So I'm going to use regular tomatoes because I had them. And then what I'm going to do is top it off with some spinach. Yes, it's getting a little out of hand here. Now the spinach actually is one of my favorite things to do with pizza. You put it on top and it bakes down, but you have to drizzle it with some olive oil. And I'm okay with that. So the toughest part is actually doing the drizzle. And so you just put the olive oil right on top and it'll kind of coat it just a little bit. And then you hit it with some sea salt and a little Parmesan cheese just for that extra hit and we are gonna have a spinach artichoke pizza that is better than takeout. The other thing that I'm going to do with the spinach artichoke dip is put it in a quiche. Fancy word for egg bake. My husband and I are going to love this, so I'll do a, a different version for the kids. So how much of this am I going to put in there? It flavors an egg bake really, really well, so I don't need a lot, but I'm okay with it because there's not a lot of bad ingredients in here aside from the cheese. And I'm okay with dairy, and I usually put a little bit of cheese in my egg bake anyway. So I'll maybe put a, I'll just eyeball it and bake it. And it's gonna taste great and it's healthy and it's leftover. So there you have it. I'm not um, gonna throw away anything except for maybe my hopes that the Vikings will ever make it to the Super Bowl. I don't know. If you like this video, comment, um, ask a question, share. I always like to reward my shares with something fun. So check me out at Fit and Faithful with Renee for more exercises, recipes, and tips, and have a great week.